Hey everybody, it is Tuesday and it's two o'clock something. <laughs> Sorry I'm late today, guys. Um, it's Tuesday, it's two o'clock, it's time for Top 5 Tuesday. I am your host, Kate Dillon from Crate Insider, and I'm here today. I It's end of month or beginning of the next month. It's very exciting. It's always fun to really look back at not just the last week, but to look at back at the last month. So those will be the products we'll be talking about, would be some of our best sellers for all of July. But before we jump into that, I definitely wanna tell you about some of our promotions that we've got going on or featured items. First of all, I have to say I'm incredibly excited that this Thursday, August 8th, that there will be a race on MAV TV at 7 o'clock, and that's going to be from Weed Sport Speedway, and it's the Rush Racing Series. Now, we worked with Rush and Weed Sport last year when they had a MAV TV production, and it was went so successfully. It was wonderful. It's just something really cool to see a Crate Insider TV. Uh, Crate Insider, I was going to say t-shirt, but TV commercial go out on national television. And to celebrate that, if you happen to be in the North Carolina area, we will be having a watch party here in Rutherford to North Carolina at, a, it's called Amendment 21 Grill. We'll go ahead and drop the link in there so you'd be able to figure out where it's at and all of that good stuff, um, but you're welcome to come. And it's from 6.30 to 8.30, so a little bit before the race starts, a little bit afterwards. And I've ordered up a whole pile of wings from Amendment 21. We'll be doing some giveaways, like some Crate Insider t-shirts and hats. Uh, plus, I talked to my friends at Pro Fabrication. They'll also be providing some, some swag um, to be doing giveaways. And we're just really gonna have a really good time. I'm inviting anyone from the local community, any of our racing friends, so if you can make it to our watch party this Thursday, August 8th. I would love to have you there. And next up, I want to talk about our, let's see, we've got a new product and we literally just added it today. Um, I just saw a picture of it. I haven't even actually looked at this myself yet. So um, what this is, is this is a header hanger and what it's used for, this is from our friends at Pro Fabrication. What they found is with the headers and the mufflers that they could be really heavy and they could drag on the car and have a, you know, kind of just cause some, I don't know if it was sagging or just, it's just a lot of weight. So what they've done is come up with this hanger here. This goes to the end of the muffler. So let's just say like, we're just gonna pretend for a second here. <laughs> May as well talk about one of my other products, the Daytona One window cleaners. You can see I use this, it's sitting on my desk. Uh, but anyway, it, that your muffler would hang in here. It actually would be tight on it. And then you've got this hole here where you can use this to secure back to your, to your chassis. So that makes it really nice. I have to say, I love the worksmanship. Um, this is this is a nice piece. How cool is that, that it's stamped? I, it's gonna have a hard time because of the lights I've got in the office today, but Pro Fabrication, there we go. I think, I think that's working a little bit better. Anyway, you can see it's laser etched, so that's pretty cool. And these are available for a, in a three inch diameter as well as a three and a half inch diameter. So depending on what the end of, you really wanna put this on the end of your whole run of headers. So at the end of your muffler um, or collector, kind of whatever you're running there, you would put this at the end and then this just gives you a spot to, to be able to secure your headers. And these run $35 each and you just saw the packaging and everything. It's kind of like doing an unboxing video. It's an unbagging video is what I'm gonna say. So, so that's our new product this week. Um, next up, uh, oh, let's talk about what we're giving away today. So I'm gonna give away our sling grip. So this sling grip, mine's getting a little bit worn here because I use it all the time. And this goes on the back of your phone. It says Crate Insider on it right here. And it's this piece of elastic that sticks on your phone. And then, you know, that way your phone can defy gravity and it makes it, well, just makes it super easy to hold is probably the biggest thing. And it also doesn't have a super big profile. So see, like your phone still fits in your pocket. Um, makes it really simple. Um, so these, and the stickiness of this glue, it actually stays on there really well. So we do sell these in the store as well. Um, you can buy them for $6 a piece or you can win them on the show. And there's a couple of ways to win. So one way would be, I will be doing a random number drawing at the end. So just leave a comment. You can say hi, you can answer it or ask a question, maybe say where you're from, any of those things. And I'll just look at how many comments we have at the end of this video drop it into random number generator, and then we will come up with a random number. And then also the other option, and I gotta tell Alex what our sign said last week. So um, here, hang on just a second here. Alex, 
just so you know. So if you know what my sign said last week, then go ahead and drop that in as a comment. And then we'll be doing a separate drawing based on who knows what my sign said last week. And a big thanks for, to uh, my friend Danny. We're going to call him West Coast Danny for sending me a suggestion for the sign for this week. That's where that came from. So thank you so much, Danny. You're here every week. I haven't actually looked if you're here yet, but you probably are. So, so thank you for that suggestion. And if any of you have suggestions, you can send me a Facebook message. You can text me. You can send an email. I mean, any of the ways of communicating and I certainly do appreciate it. All right, and we have one more. I mean, before we jump into the top five, um, really exciting is that last week and then actually two weeks before that, so I guess three weeks ago, we had Jonathan Masters on the show from racenowhow.com. And last week he offered an opportunity for any of our viewers, if you would like to go to racenowhow.com and sign up for a yearly account, you can have $10 off by using the coupon code Crate Insider. And we'll drop that into the comments so that you can go ahead and click on that link and have the code and all of that. So I just was uh, chatting with Jonathan today and he was he was excited to, to be able to see some of our Crate Insider viewers have really taken up uh, taken up on that offer. And so he was like, hey, let's go ahead and do it again this week. And so that offer is only available this Tuesday until one o'clock in the morning. So at 1 a.m. it expires. So uh, just get on it. I mean, don't wait till the last minute. Just jump in there. There's an amazing array of videos, of video trainings. Um, I really am super impressed with the suspension um, aspects because it's something that I really don't do much in covering of like how to measure shocks and and bar angles and things like that is really outside of my wheelhouse. But Jonathan just takes that information and just runs with it and finds some of the best and smartest people in the industry to be able to speak to those issues. So definitely, um, uh, I give it like I give it two thumbs up. I think he's doing a great thing over there. So definitely take advantage of that. So with that, I'm going to say hi to some folks. And then we will jump into our top five products from July going into August here. So let's see here. Oh, goodness. Dan and Dale and Mike, Tim and Alan. I mean, so many familiar faces. Kevin, Brandon, Jonathan. Excellent. Um, I see lots of people know what the sign said. So that's really exciting. And I'm just so thrilled that all of you are here. So thank you so much for being here today. So we're going to jump into the top five. Now remember, these are the products for the whole month. So some of these products are ones that I generally don't show on Top 5 Tuesday because they kind of get worn out because they kind of end up being in the top five every week and nobody likes that. It's super boring. So we're, we'll actually see there's going to be a lot of familiar products here today. So in the number five spot, if any of you have ever called me looking for spark plug wires, it is nine times out of ten, actually probably ten times out of ten, this is what I tell you about, is this is our fast fire wire. Uh, we've been selling this for quite a while. I love it. It has only 25 ohms resistance per foot. So with that, what we're looking for is any kind of wires. There's always going to be resistance. There's always going to be loss along a line. So we want to make sure that we've got the lowest amount of resistance possible so we can have the cleanest spark and the less drag. I mean, it's, it's drag in the ignition system. It's like electronic drag. I just made that up, but, <laughs> but it's still drag. And so with these, there are you know, with that 25 ohms per foot resistance is so low. They also have this amazing heat shield on the outside. They're heat safe up until like, I always look in the back and it never tells me. And I want to say it's like um, 450 degrees. It's something insane. And it comes with all eight wires. They're perfect for the underheader design for putting your wires on. And it comes with a coil wire. So you just, you just don't have to mess around with also having to find a coil wire somewhere else. And if even if you're running an HEI distributor and you don't need a coil wire, well, then you've got a, you've got a, like a backup for a friend, or if you ever decide to change to like a billet distributor, you, you would already have a coil wire. So they work just equally as well, whether you're running an HEI or you're running like a billet style distributor. So these fast fire wire runs $159.99. All right, next up in the number four spot this week, um, 
is our Walker air filter. Now, I thought it was cool. I talked to a customer this week and he was telling me how impressed he was with the Walker air filter um, because he's used a lot of other air filters over the course of time. And I mean, I could tell you the same story, but may as well hear a story from a racer. But he said what he was most impressed with is that even though he's run this, he's cleaned it, he's oiled it, he's, he's put it back on his car. But when he takes it off, he sees that there's no dust or dirt in his air filter base, none in his carburetor is really working hard to keep that dirt out of the engine. So that's really good. Um, I do want to have a little tidbit about this as well. I know I've had, for some reason, I've sold a lot of air filter oil in the last couple of weeks as well. And that's great. I'm, I love to see that. I uh, have had some people ask me for like a spray oil. Now Walker on purpose doesn't sell oil in a spray can and the reason why is what they've told me is that they don't want people to over oil the filter because you there's just that exact right amount and with an with a spray can a lot of times a lot of racers will over oil their filters and that's really going to defeat the purpose so what we want to do is with the with the oil i don't actually have oil here but um we're just going to pretend uh, I, I will grab anything that's on my desk. It's fair game. It is what it is. So if this is our oil, we just want to go in about an inch. And if this was clean and starting from scratch, we would just run a bead of oil all the way around just like this and then kind of flip it around and it'll go an inch on this side all the way around. And then we would just let it soak in. And if we ended up seeing that there was some spots that didn't have oil, the Walker oil is blue, so it's very evident whether it's on there or not. Then we can dab in a couple of spots, but that's a way to keep from over oiling your air filter. And there is a video, so if you want to click on the, I think it's in the Walker air filter, it may be um, in the oil and it may be in both spots. I'm not really sure, but um, we do talk about how to oil a filter. So pay attention to that because we really, we don't want you to just get the best products. We want you to get the best performance out of the products that you have. So there we go. So in the number four spot, our Walker oil filter, and it runs $99, cleanable, washable, and ready. this one's ready to just go ahead and drop on your car. So they come ready to go, pre-oiled and everything. All right, next up in the number three spot, I'm phoning it in here a little bit because it's our cases of our Klotz oil. So Klotz oil, this is a 1040, and it's an incredibly well-performing oil for crate engines. It comes in cases of 10, and that case of 10 runs $139.90. Now, if you'd rather not buy it by the case, you wanna buy it by the quart, or you wanna buy one of our oil change kits that has seven quarts and an oil filter, I really do keep this, this price dialed in, whether you're buying it by the quart or by the case, because I just want you to have oil. I want you to have the amount that you would like to have. So yeah, it conveniently comes in cases of 10, um, or you can buy it any of the other ways that we sell it as well. So clots in the number three spot. All right, next up in the number two spot, this is another product that I ban from Top 5 Tuesday most of the time, and that would be our Crate Insider flat air filter base. I, I really, at this point, I don't, does anybody not have this base? I mean, if you, <laughs> I feel like we've sold them to the entire world of racers at this point, but it is such a fantastic performer and it works whether you have a 602, a 604. Um, I, I know that there are a lot of guys that run this in all kinds of other um, applications for their engines as well with limited motors and super motors and all of that. Um, we do sell it with a seal so that it's ready to just go ahead and drop on top of your carburetor. I did, I'm not showing it that way but it um it does come with it so this our crate insider flat air filter base it runs 99.50 and in the top spot uh probably not a big surprise would be our 602 match sets of valve springs my goodness it must be valve spring changing season because we have been going through valve springs like candy and that's okay because i got another two shipments on the way we'll get them rated and and for anyone who's wondering i know a lot of times there's a question like are these any in any way shape or form are they cheated up or anything they're not these are straight up from gm i mean like see this is the boxes they come in um they come this is it says chevrolet performance and what we do is we open up all the little bags, open up all the springs, and we rate them individually one by one by one. And anyone that don't doesn't make the cut, we, 
they don't go out the door. I'm saving them up. I'm kind of waiting for some project to do with them, but that project will not be selling them to you for, for use on your race car. They're just going to be for, for some kind of a fun project. But, um, but we don't sell the bad ones is what I'm saying. We keep the good ones and then we put them into sets where you'll have a set for your intake and a set for your, for your exhaust. And that whole um, setup for your match sets of 602 valve springs runs $99.75. So that is our top five products for July going into August of 2019. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see if there are any questions. And then we'll also be doing um, some drawings here too. So pardon me, kind of a little hiccup there. And I've got some help in the office today. So I will get that. Um, I'm gonna get him a number to take a look at. And while he's looking that up, I'm gonna see if I can answer any questions. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me see if there's any questions over here. Um, Marshall says, love your show. Thank you so much, Marshall. I appreciate that. And great. And Jonathan has is, is, uh, um, corrected us. We need to do all caps for that coupon code for Renee's Know How. Do it in all caps, Crate Insider, all one word, no spaces. There we go. And um, let's see, those hangers work for 602 and 604 headers? Yes, yeah, they sure would. I mean, pretty much pretty much any header, um, you know, whatever is at the end of the run, if you've got a three inch or if you've got a three and a half inch, those would be the two ways. So our first winner is Kevin Van Horn. So I'm gonna jot that down. So Kevin, if you could please send me your send me a private message with your address so that i can send you one of our sling grips and then we've got a second drawing and that is terry peoples so i'm going to write that down too so terry you please send me a private message as well with your address and i'll get your sling grip sent out to you okay so i'm going to see if there's any other questions on here good evening and thank you and let's see um, you need a special outerwear for it though. Kevin, you were absolutely right. Uh, they, we do sell an outerwear for the Walker air filter. And it's, so even though this is a four inch air filter, it really ends up being more like a five inch because of all the urethane that's on this air filter. So that really does bring up a good point. Your standard four inch outerwear is not gonna work because this part is four inches. But by the time we add the urethane top and bottom, we're at about five. So, or actually maybe it's this part that's four inches. I don't have a, um, I do have a tape measure around here, but it's not super handy. So good point though. And we do, the only outerwears we sell are the ones that go with these particular filters. So I just try to keep it, make it easy. Um, James asked if I will be at PRI this year. I definitely will be. We don't do a booth there. So I will be walking around. I'll be shooting video, making new deals, finding new products. Like that's what I'm at PRI doing. And um, if you see me there, I mean, that's a couple months away. Of course I had rooms booked already like months ago. Um, I'm, I think all I have to do is just book my flights is about all I need to do, but we'll definitely be there this year. And let's see here. Um, and, and Tim asks, is Daytona One engine treatment recommended when using Klotz oil? No, you don't need to. Um, and that's actually from Daytona One saying that. They took a look at the Klotz oil and looking at the additive package in there that it would really, I mean, is it gonna benefit? Sure, but it's just, it's that like law of diminishing returns. So it's not gonna do as much for that oil as it will for others. So there's really, you know, there's not a big justification for spending the extra money. Um, if there was, I would certainly let you know. Obviously, I want to try to sell it to you, but uh, but the truth is you don't really need it with the Klotz oil. Uh, but you know what? Buy it for your towing vehicle. That's where you're going to save some gas mileage on that too. Let's see. We still need the air filter base for the two barrel 4412. Yes, I'm fully aware of that. I'm still trying to work on that. Sometimes product development is such a slow process. So we'll still try to work on that as well. Oh, let's see. Um, Racers know there's a difference in springs. Please buy, please buy these match sets from Kate. Thanks so much for that, for that, uh, James. I sure appreciate it. And um, Bill, speaking of 604, um, <laughs> um, I think he's still looking for a scratch and debt 604, which we don't. And let's see here. Um, and does Daytona One really add horsepower and torque? Yes, it does. Um, and there's, I can't remember if we've got the dyno sheet posted on that. Now, we're, what we're looking at here is like 1% to 2%. So we're not looking at, is it the difference between 1st and 10th? Is it worth 25 horsepower or 50 horsepower? No, we're really looking at probably 3 to 6 is, is about what we're looking at in most applications. But um, 
but it's still a fantastic product and creating the longevity of your engine and keeping the temperatures down because a lot of times in crates it's not just about the horsepower i mean horsepower is one piece of a much larger equation we're looking for torque and we're looking for how much can we free up the car and how can we keep temperatures cooler because if we can keep it cooler and we can cut down on friction then we will free up more horsepower we're looking at that horsepower at the rear wheels so so those would be some things to look at where it's just all part of the bigger equation but it absolutely does help and i can tell you from personal experience of it has helped my car significantly with getting better gas mileage because you really have a choice you're either going to get better gas mileage or you're going to get more horsepower and Obviously, I don't need horse, more horsepower at 45 miles an hour, you know, that I'm going to drive in a normal passenger car, um, you know, just around town. But I can get help with that gas mileage. And that's where cutting down that friction is going to give better gas mileage. So try it out in your towing vehicles in addition to your race car. So I, that is all I have for today, for Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. I want to thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will look forward to seeing you next Tuesday at 2 o'clock for Top 5 Tuesday. Have a great week.